Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from group 19. My name is Muhammad Afif Muhammad Rajman, WPA 1877. With me, I have uh, my group members, which is Muhammad Afif Hafizah Ben Nordin, PA 18004, and Nur Nasihah Bisni Muhammad Rizki, PA 18038. So, we're gonna present about Breakmaker using STM32. Let's go. So, for introduction. A bread making machine or a bread maker is a home appliance for turning raw material into baked bread. The bread machine. Many specifications will vary. Most bread makers have similar features. Ideally, it is simple to run and automated for bread making machine and takes less time and effort than making bread by hand. The development of bread maker can be utilized by using produce and embedded in steel. So this is our methodology. We have uh, three steps, which is first one, we need to create our project and second one, we need to uh, get our project design and lastly, we're going to show, uh, show you about our uh, coding using embedded microvision, microvision file. So, this is our project. First of all, in a basic project, we need to start and power on the LM35 which is at the temperature. The LCD display will display the bread maker and state, which is to have three states. The first one is the ambient temperature is uh, below 60 and the LCD will display low. When the temperature is uh, between 60 and 90, the LCD will display medium. And when the temperature uh, is above 90, the LCD will display heat. But after that, the, the, when after the LCD display the temperature and state, the field break into bread maker. And then the counter start counting. If the counter uh, reach 9 seconds, the, the LED will turn off. If not, we, we go back to the field break into bread maker. And then we toast the bread and we start counting again. If yes, the bread are already to toast. If not, it will toast the bread once again. The power will turn off. Uh, the LED will turn on which indicates that uh, the process is being completely done. For next uh, presentation, we will be presented by my friend. Thank you. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, I will continue uh, for the simulation and uh, simulation and uh, key. Okay, for programming. Okay, first of all, we use the STM32 uh, for the computer and RS and N for the uh, display LCD. For uh, this is being PA5 and this is PA7. Okay. Well, for LCD command, this is used for LCD. Okay. okay. So we must be declare the function. Okay. Next, uh, switch one and switch two. For also, we use a uh, for the declaration and for the counter one. Counter one and two is we declare zero and nine. Okay. For the character A, we select the temperature the LCD okay so integer analog for declare also for function for analog ADC so analog uh, value uh, for the an, uh, analog to digital or analog for uh, voltage out for this for temperature okay so we declare RCC APD for the clock enable uh, we use 2 1 C 1 C for uh, DPRO C uh, B A okay for the two for the ADC ADC for analog so DPO B uh, C R four uh, four A for the uh, for the input we declare four four A okay for the output we declare B B okay for also DPO B also we declare all also for the output okay DPO C for output LED okay declare so for uh, for input A for uh, ADC analog, okay, and zero zero for P A P A P A zero one for analog for the temperature, okay. So this net ah uh, this for RCC C F G R for the ah uh, bit fifty anti C for set um ah uh, channel one to make a uh, sample rate and then ah uh, we. Select channel 1 to 4 sequence enable ADC for the first time. And then uh, for the 003 is for the enable ADC second time. Okay. 
uh, this is for on collaboration uh, collaboration okay uh, so this is a uh, formula for collaboration okay we use this to analog uh, with time for uh, 5000 5, and divide 406 uh, okay and then temperature we uh, voltage up multiple by 10 okay this uh, i declare for AT for acidic acid for this display for the temperature okay the temperature uh, under 60 uh, we uh, display low uh, 60 in 80 uh, we display medium and under 80 we uh, display the heat okay for, uh, for x01 for the uh, port uh, port A and uh, switch 2 for the port A also this is for A4 and for A3 okay. If the uh, switch button, uh, seven segment we display zero one uh, nine zero nine eight seven four uh, six five uh, uh, if uh, if the sequence okay and delay uh, for counter one is plus one for counter two uh, negative one okay so if counter similar uh, uh, the VOC I can off and uh, it is off okay so if uh, switch two counter will uh, negative uh, tolak satu and counter plus one okay then CD command uh, will display an LCD okay this it will display nine also same then okay first uh, LCD will display temperature and status medium so we uh, declare uh, in the kill as a uh, uh, under uh, 60 under 60 uh, will low under 60 uh, until 80 is medium so this is medium temperature and this for the timer this is for LED the uh, temperature and the detect low or high okay uh, this for the time for counter so this uh, LCD will display time for counter when we push button uh, LED will Antenna will close. Okay, like that. Okay, this is for one button. Okay. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Nasuha binti Muhammad Rusli. So, this is our block diagram or functional flowchart. So, our processor is STM32F103. We have input and output parts. For the input, we have three which is power on, push button and pressure. For the output part, we have seven segment, LCD and LED. Okay, next for the result. When the temperature is less than 60, the LCD will display low and temperature between 60 and 80, the LCD will display medium and when the temperature higher than 60, the LCD will display high. So for our project, we use spot and temperature. So we set analog value equal to ADC1 in the coding. The formula for both out is log new times with 5000 and then divide by 4696. Okay, so after that, the answer will divide by 10 for the temperature. So as you as you can see here in the table, switch one LED off when the timer is one until nine. Switch two LED on when the timer is below the nine. LED off because to indicate that the bread has not been cooked. LED on because to indicate that the bread the bread is cooked. Okay, next for the discussion from the result, we can find that we successfully simulating the process of bread making that fulfill the function that have been planned in in the early stage of design. There are machines that are designed solely for mixing, kneading the dough and do not have any baking function whatsoever. We have discussed that Proteus is simulation software used to simulate components and is capable of drawing desired circuit. It is being used for fast checkup of code you have written for microcontrollers. Okay, next for the conclusion is at the end of the project we can build a program using STM32F103 microcontroller also, we achieve the cost outcome in this project is to design, build, and interface with various input output devices. We are able to design solutions for complex mechanical engineering problems and design systems, components, or process that meet specified needs with appropriate consideration for public health and safety, cultural, societal, and environmental considerations. Lastly, we got some knowledge about how to use and implement STM32 F103 in Kill and were able to simulate it in Portis. So that's all from our group. Thank you.